Sal. I'm the editor of Digital by Default News. We are here at the Digital Leaders 50 Awards at the House of Lords. Can you tell me what you think your kind of work, your organisation does um, in terms of using technology in the public sector? What makes you stand out? Um, so, so for us, for ESOS, um, so we've worked in the public sector for many, many years. Uh, many people would think of us as uh, a traditional outsourcer in many ways, a traditional IT services player. Um, and we realised probably back in about 2009 that the world had changed, the world was different. Um, and a lot of the things that we've done ever since have been around understanding how to transform the organisation, how to transform the services that we provide to enable us to kind of provide the right the right services to our clients in public sector and, and, and whether that's in the context of digital or whether it's in the context of cloud or mobility services or the underlying that's what we're focused on so, so for us um, understanding how we can provide secure but highly scalable and highly transactional kind of cloud services to government clients was a fundamental thing it, 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 we had to do that we have done that um, but there are many more ways in which we can drive a digital transformation can you tell us me about some of the work that you are planning to do in the sector in the future? Yeah, so um, I, I think more and more people are beginning to think around how do you deliver transactional scalable services in an environment that's safe and secure. So, so we've done a lot of work around um, enabling platforms in government, um, cloud if you like, um, at IL3 compliance and they're all available through through GCloud. But but kind of let's wind that forward. How do we Atos as an organization has placed great focus around how do we collaborate? So we've led a zero email campaign globally because we work differently in a digital economy. So so how do we bring that into the public sector? How do we enable people to collaborate in highly secure environments, as an example? But there will be other examples as we begin to kind of drive them. Customer experience, how do we deliver absolute personalization and intimacy over that end citizen experience um, using digital tools, techniques, product services? And that's our focus. Okay. And what do you think of the digital leader at 50 initiative? Yeah, no, absolutely fantastic. Delighted to be involved. Um, delighted to be involved kind of day to day in the digital leaders itself, but also delighted to have kind of received the award in terms of the people's vote. Okay, thank you. Okay.